Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I am now answering question number nine, part one, from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P4 paper from June 2021. Now, this question here is about vectors and also kind of proofs. I'm going to answer part one and part two separately in separate videos because I want to classify them in separate um, topics. And part two is purely about proofs and part one is kind of like vectors as well as proofs mixed together. So it says relative to a fixed origin O at uh, the points A, B and C have position vectors A, B and C, lowercase, respectively. The points A, B and C, uppercase, lie in a straight line with B lying between A and C. Given that A to B or the ratio of A to B to A to C is 1 to 3, show that C equals 3B minus 2A. Okay, so what we need to do first is we need to make a little diagram. Making a diagram here is going to be really helpful. So I'm going to draw a straight line because A, B, and C lie on a straight line. So I'll just draw a straight line, and it says that B is between A and C. So I'm going to put A at the beginning of the line and C at the end of the line. Now the ratio of A, B to A, C is 1 to 3. Okay, so B is such that if I, um, you know, if the if from A to B compared to A to C is one to three, so A to B is one third of the whole, uh, is one third of the whole line. Okay, so that means this must be one part and this must be two parts. That becomes one out of three parts, one third of the whole line. Okay, so I've just roughly put the uh, ratios. That means uh, that doesn't mean the length is one. Okay, and that doesn't mean the length is 2, it's just a ratio of 1 to 2. Okay, the ratio from A to B and B to C is 1 to 2, because that will mean the ratio of A to B to A to C is 1 to 3. It's one third of the whole line, so that's one part, that's two parts. Okay, now, um, there's an origin, I'm just going to draw it anywhere, like here, for example, you can draw it anywhere you want. And um, the vector from O to A is A, the vector from O to B is B, and the vector from O to C is C. So I'm going to draw those lines. To show those vectors so this is vector a this is vector b and this is vector c all right now it says given that a b to a c is one to three show that c equals three b minus two a all right so we need to basically find a way of expressing Um, one of these lengths in two different ways. That's what we need to do. So we can then, um, you know, do what's required. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let me look at the length from A to C and let me express it in one way with C in there. So with the vector C in there. So if you think about A to C, you can go from A to O and then you can go from O to C. A to O, then O to C. Now that will give you the vector A minus A, sorry, plus C. A to O is minus A, O to C is plus C. That takes you from A to C. Now that's one way of getting from A to C. There's also another way of getting from A to C. If you go from A to B first, A to B first, and then from B to C. Now, if I want to go from A to B, it's minus A plus B. If I want to go from B to C, now I can put minus B plus C as well, but I want to have something with A's and B's in it. I want to have something with A's and B's in it. And because of this relationship here, I can do that. I know that B to C is twice the length of A to B. I know that B to C must be twice the length of A to B. Because this is two parts and this is one part of that line. Okay, because of the ratio they told us. This is one part out of three. So this A to B to B to C must be one to two. So from B to C is twice A to B. All right, and we know that A to B, we just found A to B, is minus A plus B. We just worked that out here. That's A to B, minus A plus B. So B to C is going to be twice minus A plus B. So I'm going to add... 2 times minus A plus B, and that will give me another expression for A to C. Okay, so that's minus A plus B. I'm going to have 2 times minus A, which is minus 2A, and 2 times B, which is plus 2B. If I simplify that, I have A to C is equal to 
minus 3a plus 3b. Minus 3a plus 3b, that's the vector from a to c. And a to c is also, in terms of going straight from a to c, like from a to o and then o to c, is minus a plus c. So these two must be equal to each other because they're both from a, take you from a to c. All right, so if you think about it, minus 3a plus 3b, minus 3a, you're going to, um, minus 3a plus 3b. Okay, so if you do minus 3a plus 3b, you're going to go starting from a, minus 1a, minus 2a, minus 3a, and then plus 3b, 1, 2, 3, it will take you from a to c. It's an accurate diagram. All right, and also minus a plus c also takes you from a to c. Minus 3a and plus 3b takes you from a to c, and minus a plus c also takes you from a to c. All right, so we can see that they're equal to each other. So I can just simply say, therefore, I can say minus a plus c is the same as this vector minus 3a plus 3b. They both take you the same from the same point to the same point. So now they want us to make C the subject because they want to express it as this. And if you just um, add A to both sides, you end up with um, minus 3A plus A, which is minus 2A plus 3B. And the way they've written it is that with the B term first, so that's 3B minus 2A. And there we have proved what they asked us to prove. Okay, so it's a case of, um, you know, drawing a diagram and trying to figure out two different ways of getting from one place to another using different, you know, uh, different ways of getting this. So from A to A to C, I did A, um, you know, A minus A plus C, and from A to C, I did A B plus B C. But I expressed the B C in terms of A B, what A B was. Okay, and that made us get the answer that was required. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to split up this part one and part two in separate videos. So part two will be in another video. Um, and uh, that's about proofs. So other questions that you want to know about, that looks like a squared here, let me just get rid of that. Other questions that you want to find that are related to vectors, um, I'll put them in the playlist over here. Other, vector, other questions to do with proofs, this is kind of like a proof question as well. I'll also put this in the playlist for proofs, which I'll put over here. Questions on this paper or questions from this June 2020 paper, 21 paper will be uh, in the playlist that should be appearing somewhere in this area. Um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here and other papers you might want to watch from P1, from P2, from P3, from S1, from M1, also from the IGCSE papers. Um, you can find a way to get to them from the description under the video, uh, the links in that. Thank you for watching and see you soon.